hello guys it's my hope that you're doing well welcome back to miss fountain channel and in this session we're going to look at forensic hair analysis and under forensic hair analysis we're going to define some few terms we're also going to look at the morphology of hair how the first term that we're going to define is trichology which is the scientific study of the structure function and diseases of human hair second term that you're going to define is hair and here are then flexible tubes of dead fully keratinized epithelial cells that's simply how we can define the term hair and now we're going to go into hair morphology here we have a uh, a hair shaft a hair shaft is made of three main parts that is the cortex the cuticle and the medulla the cortex is made up of microfibrils the cuticle is formed by flat overlapping cells and i have the medulla as the third part we're going to begin with the cuticle and this is the outermost layer which is a protective coating made of overlapping scales producing a characteristic pattern these scales always point towards the tip of the hair which is the distal the distal end we have types of cuticles we have coronal we have coronal that is we have imbricate and spinous the this the pattern that's called impri imbricate that's what humans have the humans have uh, the imbricate cuticle the other, the other types of cuticles are found in animals we have cortex cortex is the in a layer it's between the cuticle and the medulla it's the middle layer that is and it's made up of keratin and embedded with pigment and has air sacs that are called cuticle fusae it has melanin that is the pigment granules that give hair the color and you have cortical fusae these are air spaces mainly near the root that's what you refer to as cortex our third part is medulla medulla is the innermost layer and it consists of transparent cells and air spaces the cells in the medulla are loosely packed that's why we have air spaces in there we have various patterns of the medulla we have the fragmented of fragmentary we have the interrupted the difference between fragmented and interrupted is fragmented has huge huge spaces in between them it's 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 fra fragmentary one is uh, less continuous compared to the interrupted one you have the continuous one and you have the absent one going to look at calculating the medullary index medullary index is an important figure that is used in identifying maybe maybe a hair has been found in a crime scene you need to know whether it's human or it's animal there's a difference between human hair and animal hair that can be seen through checking the medu or calculating the medullary index and you calculate it by dividing the medulla diameter with the hair diameter i think that humans have a medullary index that is less than a third and animal animals have a medullary index that is more than half that means the medulla of, uh, of the over human hair is thinner compared to that of animals that's one way of 
differentiating between animal and human hair. Thank you for watching. In our next session, we are going to look at the hair growth, the stages of hair growth. So stay tuned for the next video. Remember to like, share, comment, and also subscribe. Thank you. Stay tuned for the next video.